All right, welcome back, you inglorious bastards and magnificent bitches. It is I, Doc Camo, and we're back for another thought of the day. And it has it begun. Has begun. Uh, we're going to do something a little bit different today. We're going to go over some local news here in New Hampshire. Uh, then we're going to talk about um, the some some of the government, the federal government. We're going to highlight some fuckery going on Winning. No. in L.A. And people can vaccinate them damn selves. There, there seems to be a push for America to vaccinate the world. It's not my job to vaccinate Israel. It's Israel's job to vaccinate Israel. It's not my job to vaccinate England. It's England's job to vaccinate England, etc., etc., etc. But first, ah, yeah. Blah, I can't even speak today. First, I want you to please like, share, subscribe, uh, leave a re review, use whatever the tools to available to you on your platform of choice is. Uh, it will help boost us in that algorithm on said platform immensely, which will help us out. Uh, consider going to the actual website, www.thatsapoint.squarespace.com and becoming a member and or joining the email list and viewing us directly from the website. That also helps us. And uh, you can buy some merch at the merch store if you want to buy some merch at the merch store. We're giving away a free t-shirt at the end of the month. We're giving away the Like a Government shirt. And, uh, Look forward to that at the end of the month. We'll pick a random subscriber, send it out to you. Uh, we're trying to make um, 500 subscribers by, uh, say, June-ish. If you can help out, just subscribe. We're trying to do that. Share us out there. Get it done. You guys are our army, the inglorious bastards, the magnificent bitches. We can't beat the censorship machine without you. But without further ado, let's get into some New Hampshire fuckery. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we got a man has been charged for detonating 80 pounds of homemade explosive. That's how winning is done. At New Hampshire gender reveal party that triggered an explosion, police say. So yeah, so the, a man who turned himself in for a New Hampshire gender reveal party that triggered an explosion has been charged with disorderly conduct. Please, please confirm this week. Was it a boy or a girl? <laughs> Anthony Spinelli, who police said brought, bought and detonated around 80 pounds of the explosive Tannerite at the party turned himself into the Kingston Police Department, according to the statement sent to CNC. <laughs> uh, the explosion took place in April in a quarry near a concrete mixing business. Tannerite is target used for firearms practice that also comes in a gender reveal variety, police said in the statement. <laughs> 80 pounds of blue. Oh, a pink fucking Tannerite. <laughs> oh my god. Tannerite's explosive. If you don't know that, you shoot it, it's explosive. Uh, after case of police arrived, the party goers admitted the explosion had been part of a gender reveal party and later told a detective that they'd chosen the quarry because they felt it was a safe location to detonate the explosives. Police said, but the detonation triggered tremors that some neighbors who lived near the quarry believed came from an earthquake scene. <laughs> Oh, this is fucking fucked up. I, I like this kind of fuckery. Winning. Uh, this is this is a different kind of fuckery. After a Kingston police investigation found that the explosion hadn't caused additional property damages, Spinelli was charged with disorderly conduct due to the fact that the caused public alarm. Police said in a statement, CNN has made repeated attempts to reach Spinelli and hasn't heard back. There is currently no attorney information available for Spinelli, according to New Hampshire Judicial Branch spokesperson. Kingston's police didn't report any injuries from the explosion. Other gender reveal parties that have triggered explosions have caused significant harm. In February, a soon-to-be father in New York died after a device exploded the same month. A Michigan man was killed when a celebratory cannon exploded. An El Dorado fire in Southern California a sprawling wildfire that scorched more than 10,500 acres in 2020 was caused by a pyrotechnic device used during a gender reveal party. Fire official said at the time. Winning! No. Oh, gender reveal parties have gotten out of fucking control. So what do you think? Do you think it was a, 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 a blue tannerite explosion or per pink tannerite explosion? Winning! No. <laughs> you then like why do you have a gender? Why is the re why do you have to celebrate the revealing of your gender? Je boy, girl, does it really matter what your kid is? Does it really need to be celebrated? No, not really. Your kid needs to be celebrated. 
but there's no need. That's just an excuse to party, an excuse to get drunk, an excuse to detonate 80 pounds of homemade explosive and make people hide under their chairs, or desks and tables and stuff because they think there's a motherfucking earthquake going on. <laughs> Winning. No. You suck. That felt like a 4.1 on the Richter scale. That's the big one. The big one is coming. I read about this um, oh, uh, a few weeks back, or actually a couple months back. Uh, it made home shook and stuff like that. I mean, it was felt like Holloway in Massachusetts. <laughs> Did you have to use 80, 80 pounds of tannerite, bro? 80 fucking pounds of tannerite? You, you just needed a poof of blue, pink of blue smoke, and you didn't think about... Taking the tannerite into the quarry in smaller pieces and testing it before you decided to use it. Winning. No. <laughs> That's an epic fail on your part. Winning. <laughs> no. You suck. Uh, you should always test your equipment to make sure you're in, that you're not going to be a no-go at this station. Because as you can see, it will, it can and will fail you at all times. I mean, it it just will. It can and it will fail you. So you got to make sure shit works. You you should have known how much explosive you need. You should have triggered a test detonation. <laughs> like these are the things that people do. Like it why are people so dumb? You suck. Do you know you can make your door out of tannerite so when they come knocking down your door, it'll explode. That's how when it is done. <laughs> just just food for thought. But people seem to be dumb. Um, you gotta know what kind of you gotta know the capabilities of the equipment you're using, or, or don't use it because um, you're gonna cause damage or harm. And nobody got harmed in this this particular instance. But as I read, some people have been harmed in other instances. So you gotta really look out for that. And the best way to do that is, like I said, know your know what you're working with. Um, have a test control detonation make sure it's working correctly because uh, then he could have gotten the civil disorderly thing and realized that we're not going to do it at the party and he would never put anybody in danger i'm just fucking saying <laughs>